Hello and welcome everyone. Happy Blogist. This is uh, me playing Binding of Isaac. As you can see, I've, I've played quite a bit. Um, have everything more or less unlocked. Except for this character. The, uh, the game's hardest character to play and the reason I currently have a negative 44 uh, win streak, win being, you know, kind of a, a false word there. Uh, this is my very first run for Blogus, and I'm going to be running this game, uh, you know, once a day. Though I may have to play a few uh, ahead of time. We'll see how it goes. So here we are. The Lost uh, starts with flight, which is pretty cool. Um, problem is that he dies instantly to uh, pretty much anything. Um, so this is a roguelike, although levels are procedurally generated, a little random. Well, it's not procedurally generated, but everything's pretty random. Um, lots of RNG. And so, uh, I'm currently cursed with the inability to see uh, what item I will be picking up. So, this is actually kind of scary because uh, I want treasure, I want items, it makes uh, the game easier, but I don't know what this is. It could be something that makes the game a lot harder. Uh, you see, with the Lost, unlike other characters, his weakness means certain items can, can kill him outright. You know, there are things that explode. Uh, on contact with enemies that will explode right in space, and other characters might be able to brush that off, but he can't. So, uh, in the spirit of Blogus, though, we're gonna play this full ham. So, here we go. Wow, okay. So that's an item that when I get hit, it, uh, it breaks and spreads area of effect damage everywhere. Uh, completely useless, because if I get hit, I die anyway. Uh, so, yeah, we're not gonna bother with that. Alright, these guys shoot up and sideways, uh, a nice XY pattern, easy to avoid, uh, I say that of course I will likely die, oh look at that, nope, nope, one more, there we go, room done, next room, so these are actually really scary, these are uh, piles of poop, but when they, uh, when they're colored like this, it means they regenerate, and they also do a ton of damage, unlike other poops in the game, uh, these two hurt you, and they're, of course, they can kill me. Uh, so these guys, they uh, usually have things in them. Sometimes they have flies that shoot, so you have to be really careful, because uh, they will instantly fire things at you upon uh, upon their detonation, which uh, can be problematic. That one, that's fine. These are uh, flies. The gray ones like to group up and do a little circle thing, which is, uh, eh, you know, can be a problem. This is Mysterious Paper, which, uh, you know, the game had a problem early on. There's a lot of cool things to try to hide, and the Mysterious Paper was one of the means to figure out the game's secrets. And, in fact, they were to unlock the Lost character, but people day of mind the shit out of the game and figured all that out without uh, having to do any of that, which is great because the way it was implemented was kind of crazy. You have to find the mysterious paper, which in itself is random, it has to be unlocked through uh, certain other means, and then you have to die in a certain way, and then it gives you part of a clue, so, yeah, yeah, probably not the best implementation anyway. These guys again. I really hate them in this particular room because it puts them really close to me. Makes it kind of scary. All right. Um. Yeah. Let's just. All right. So these can be problematic because they do turn on a dime, uh, especially if they uh, run into a poop, which they lay. Um, so yeah, you just have to keep your distance and uh, be careful. It's good to focus fire, but I'm not that type of person. Uh, I usually just fire at what I can, whatever I can hit. So yeah, a lot of times it's usually just two, or um, one, like two different kinds. It's been a while since I've done the room. Ooh, that was close. It's been, it's been a while since I've done the room with a three. This isn't so bad. Uh, a lot of times they'll also come with a maze of rocks, which wouldn't be a problem for this character anyway, since I have flight and can go over any of that, but... Uh, yeah, so that was easy enough. Again, uh, we don't know what this item is. Hopefully it will be better than the uh, holy water here that hopefully I'll never have to use because I'll beat the game. But we'll see. Uh, boom. All stats up! You know, 
normally that'd be really great here it uh it's good the health is useless that it gives you um but it does make you bigger which is a little problematic because i do want to be smaller to avoid projectiles but hey more damage is always better uh so curse of the unknown is pretty much the same thing again so we're already off to a uh, a pretty frustrating start it's not something you can't handle it just uh isn't great either a few extra bombs we're gonna need some keys i'm gonna avoid the arcade for the moment these guys here the gray ones explode um they also they also can kind of uh run at you pretty fast to do a little leap um so you have to keep constant motion and not get cornered like i'm trying to do to myself all right next room um don't have any keys, so that's um, not important. I like to take out what I can. These guys over here, uh, the one that's spawning these spiders, they can be really obnoxious. They're just high mobility entities. Uh, so yeah, kind of problematic. Heart, uh, useless for me. Usually with a room like this, you have a, a split second when you come into the room to uh, get some shots off without having to uh, aim as much because things won't move at you immediately, which is nice. Uh, these are really simple, don't do much. Two clubs, doubles bombs uh, that I have currently possessed, so that's, that's useful-ish. So what we're gonna do, I actually am gonna double my bombs because I'm gonna look for a secret room which is uh, another factor in play here. Hmm, excuse me. So, with secret rooms, if you see the map here, you want rooms that uh, don't have any obstructions. So, there could be a room right here because if I had entered from the north side, I'd be able to enter into this room. So, that's kind of an important thing to keep in mind when you're looking. Um, we know because there's a merchant room right up here that there's a guaranteed uh, room there, so this is actually a really good candidate, so I'm going to take a, a shot there. I should have used two clubs first. Oh well. That's me, uh, me sucking. And there wasn't a room there, so look at that. Um, what I'm going to do first is I'm actually going to go down to the arcade and blow it up. Because, like, this thing here would kill me. Oh, 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 there you go, there you go. And what we're looking for is a key. Go right here. See if I get anything. Another bomb. That's fine. Nah, you're gonna die. Okay. So, we get the key. Nice. I am actually going to take this. Ooh, um... Let's go... I'm gonna drop the bomb here. Take a chance. No, it must... Well... I can check this room out here and make sure. Yeah, yeah. The likelihood of where the secret room is, it's gotta be here. Process of elimination, guys. Waste all those bombs. So, mushrooms are pretty cool because they uh, have a chance of dropping pills, which are particularly useful. Um, they also could kill me. So, you know, everything in this game could kill you. Like, here you are, uh, a white pill. Uh, pills in this game are randomized between runs, so there's no way to know. I mean, there's an item that'll tell you what they are, but we don't have that item, so we're gonna hit this button and see what it does. Helped up. Oh, well, see, positive. Uh, it changed my my complexion slightly, but did nothing else. So uh, let's see what this one does. Puberty. Great. I grew hair. That's fantastic. So let's see what's in this room here. Um, you know, nothing of real import. I don't, I kind of want that black flame candle. So we're going to take that. Um, the thing here I'm bombing is just a uh, donation box. It's, uh, it's pretty cool. It gives you an opportunity to use items between runs. Um, or, or to use money between runs, so each run I can actually put money back in the box, which I'm actually, I'm going to do here, I'm going to put, or, well, I can put one in. Uh, it's random as far as how many you can put back in, so. It's just nice to keep some in there, 
for other runs. Um, I forget what this is. And this is probably not worth bombing, but I'll show it all to you. Uh, if you pay a special attention to the rocks, sometimes you can see that they have a different colorization or they have like an X kind of hidden on it. So this rock right here, if you blow it up, there is a good chance you'll get something. Now usually these are these are just uh, temporary hearts that I still can't take advantage of those. The character still dies with one hit. But uh, sometimes the rock drops this really good damaging item, which would have been nice. Uh, we're going to take this and see... Oh, more HP! Great! So, there we are. If this was any other run, I'd have amazing HP and, and not much else. Okay, so let's take a boss. And it's going to be this guy. And we're going to use our item here. Which is just a cool little item. It's rechargeable. Which is nice. Not a great recharge rate, but... Does a you know a pretty good amount of damage. Six rounds. Um, I think this is range increase. Nope, tears up, tears up. So the uh the good one of the big perks of being lost is that in the devil room rooms that typically uh, take away health if you have any permanently t will take away health. They'll take away your temporary hearts if you have those. Uh, I can actually get anything in here for free and it not kill me. That's one of the perks. Uh, the problem there is that this particular item is, is good, but I'm not really that into it. The thing is, you can get free devil rooms, which can be really nice, but also you want angel rooms because those that item pool actually can uh, help elongate your life pretty thoroughly. So it's kind of best to do that. Oh, a key. That's good. These guys are really annoying because they regenerate. Shit! Oh. Well, <laughs> there you go, guys. That's uh, that's run number one. And as you can imagine, this game uh, is a, a it's a delight. It's also a huge frustration. Um, and it can end in the blink of an eye, just like that. So. Run one is in. We will do 30 more runs, and maybe I will not break this controller, this TV, or yell things that will likely land me in hot water with my fans and general blogging community. So, uh, thanks for tuning in, everyone. See you next time, which should be tomorrow.